Hi, third grade. Happy Monday. I have a question for you. I was wondering if you knew what time it was. Well, guess what? I know what time it is. It's time to learn how to read a clock. I know, super exciting, right? So today we're starting a brand new chapter, chapter 11, lesson one. Last year in second grade, I know you all know that you learned how to tell time to the nearest hour and the nearest five minutes. I taught second grade last year, so I know that we all did this. Now today, we are gonna be talking about telling time to the nearest minute. Many of you probably already have an idea how to do this, but we're gonna go a little more in depth today. But before we do that, I wanna review since it's been a while since we've really talked about this. So I'm gonna need your help. I have the hour here and the minute here, but I was wondering, which hand is my hour hand and which hand is my minute hand? So let's take a look at this. And I want you to think, is my short hand my hour hand or is my short hand my minute hand? Let's see. My hour hand is my, and I'm gonna back away in three, two, one. My short hand. If you said short hand, then you were correct. Good job, you remember. Now your minute hand is your long hand. The way that I like to remember this is that my minutes go by these little ticks. So I always remember that my longer hand that almost hits these little tick marks, that's my minute. That's how I like to remember. So ready? Hour, short, minute, long. Hour, short, minute, long. Do it with me. Hour, minute. Hour, minute. Hour, minute. So now when I do the symbol, I want you to say what it is out loud. Ready? Minute. Hour. Hour. Minute. Hour. Hour. Minute. Hour. Okay. Now I want you to do it. Hour. Minute. 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 Hour. Minute. Good job. Keep going. So, you can practice that when you're uh, at home after you listen to this, okay? So, let's go ahead and do this. So, we talked about now how our hour hand is our short hand and our minute hand is our long hand. So, I'm going to put the color here just so that we remember. An H for hour and an M for minute. Okay? So, number one, I like to find the minutes first, okay? That's something I always think is a good thing to do. So I'm gonna find the minutes, and the way that I do this is I look at my minute hand, my long hand, and I see, okay, where is it? And I know that my minute hand is right on the floor. But in our minute language, if you remember our minute language, we need to count by fives each time we get to one of our numbers. So if it's on the floor, we're gonna count by fives four times. So your multiplication skills are gonna help you with this. Starting at the 12, zero, five, 10, 15, 20, okay? Now, why do you count by fives? Well, look at these little ticks in between. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So as we go around the clock, we it's easier if we just count by fives, okay? So 5, 10, sorry, 5, 10, 15, 20 minutes. It is, 20 is our minute. So I'm gonna put 20. Now we wanna look at our hours, okay? So our hours, I like to draw a line to see exactly where it falls. And you can see that our hour hand lives in the one. It lives in the backyard of the one. This is the entire one hour. It goes from here to here. So it is 120, 120, okay? So. The other thing that I wanted to show you with this um, was that your hour hand isn't pointed directly on the one. Now, do you know why? Do you remember from last year why our hour hand isn't directly right on the one? If it's 120, why isn't my hour hand on the one? Well, that's because as your hour hand slowly and slowly, 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 slowly ticks towards the next um, hour, your minute hand is going around the clock, around the clock, around the clock. So the closer
closer that your hour hand gets to the next hour, the closer that your minute hand is going to get to 60 minutes. Remember, there's 60 minutes in one hour. So as we tick, 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 tick our minute hand all the way around, our hour hand is moving closer to the next hour, slowly but surely, okay? So let's try one of those again. So I'm gonna erase this. Let's try another one. Okay, so what would this be? We have all right. So step one: find the minutes, our long hands. Okay, well, my minutes are right on the six, but I need to go into my minute language, and I know that I am start at the 12 and I will count by fives until I get to the six. So zero, five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Okay, so my minutes are 30 minutes. Okay, step two, find the hour. Where does it live? Well, let's look. One, two, three, four, five. Here's this, my hour hands is right about here, about halfway through the five, okay? So we're still in the hour of five o'clock. We haven't yet reached six o'clock, okay? So you wanna look at the number that comes before where your hour hand is. So it's 5.30. Now, just like I said, right before this, you wanna remember, look at this hour hand, where does it fall? It falls right in between the five and the six. Why do you think that is? Why does our hour hand fall right between the five and the six? That's because our minute hand is halfway around the clock. We've gone 30 minutes and we have 30 more minutes. So our hour hand has slowly moved halfway in between the five and the six because we are halfway through the hour, okay? So now I wanna show you a different one. Now I wanna show you a different one now that we talked about that. This is what we're really getting into that you're gonna see in this lesson. Okay, so. All right, so if we look at this, I'm gonna come forward a little bit more. The first thing that we're gonna do is find our minute hand. Well, we know our minute hand is our long hand. So here's my long hand. But we're used to the minutes being on these bigger numbers. Now today that's not it. It's not on the bigger number. It's right here on this tick. But guess what? It's nothing to be afraid of because what we talked about in the beginning was that each of these ticks is equal to one minute. All of these ticks together are equal to 60. So one, two, three, four, five. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and so on. Is there a way that we can get here easier? There is. Let's count by fives until we get right to the eight, and then we're going to start counting by ones. So 0, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. And now we're going to count our ticks by ones, our minute ticks. So 40 minutes, 41 minutes in 42 minutes, okay? 42 minutes, our minute hand falls right here. So we have 40, 41, 42. Now if it fell right here, it would be 44, because this would be 43, 44, 45. So these are one minute intervals. So we are at the 42, okay? So our minutes are 42 minutes. Now let's look at the hour. Okay, here's my hour. Ooh, this one's a little bit tricky, because look. My hour is not quite on 11 yet, it's almost there. But let's see where this lives. Where does my hour hand live? My hour hand lives in the backyard of the 10, because I'm looking at my hour hand, and the backyard is in the hour of 10. So it is 10, 40, two, 10, 42. Now notice that my hour hand is really, really, really close to the 11. It's really close. Well, why? Because my minute hand has made it more than 40 minutes. It's made it 42 minutes past our hour of 10. 
So that means that our hour hand is slowly getting closer and closer and closer to the 11. Okay, there's not that much time left in our clock until we get to our new hour of 11 o'clock. Okay, let's try one more together. Okay, this time we're gonna do, let's see. Okay, so let's go ahead and find a minute. Our minute is our long hand, and we're going to see where that minute hand lands. So if I take our minute, I'm going to go to our minute hand, and it goes right here. It points right here. So what's the easy way to do it? Well, we're going to count by fives, and then we're going to start counting by ones. So zero, five, ten, and now we have to count our one minute intervals. Eleven, twelve, thirteen. We are 13 minutes past the hour. Okay, 0, 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, or 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay, so our hour minute hand, our minute hand is 13 minutes. And now let's look at our hour hands. Okay, here's our hour hand, our short hand. And this one is pretty easy. Why? because we're right, basically right on the hour of the seven. We're right in the backyard of the seven, okay? And why are we right on the seven? Well, we're not even 15 minutes past seven o'clock yet, so our hour hand hasn't had very much time to move. So it is 7.13, okay? Now the last one that I wanna do is I'm gonna give you a time, and then we're gonna draw where the hour and minute hand go. So the time I'm going to give you is, um, let me use the marker, 437. Okay. Again, I like drawing the minute hand first because then it tells us where to place the hour hand. Because remember, our hour hand doesn't always fall directly on the four. Depending on how many minutes have gone by, our minute hand has to get, our hour hand has to get slower, slowly closer and closer to the next hour. That's why I like to draw the minute hand first. So let's see what we can do here. 37 minutes. So I'm going to count by fives until I get to 35, and then I'll count by twos. So 0, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 36, 37. So our hour hand is gonna point right to the 37 little mark. Okay, 35, 36, 37. And then our hour hands is in the backyard of the four. So here's my four, okay? But think about this. When 30 minutes goes past the clock, right? Our hour hand has to be right in between the four and the five right in between the four and the five, because that shows that we are half past four, 30 minutes past four, and only half an hour um, till five. So it's 437, so it's still gonna be a, kind of right in the middle here. Okay, 437, 437, because we are about a little bit more than halfway until five o'clock. Okay, boys and girls? So today what you're gonna be doing in your math is it's gonna ask you what time it is. So I think the easiest thing to do is find your minute hand, your long hand first, okay? Look for the uh, count by fives until you can't go any further and then add on your ones and then go ahead and find the hour hands after that, okay? 8.24, it wants you to go ahead and draw 8.24 yourself. Now remember, your hour hand should not be right on the 8 because that would really mean it was like between 8 and 8.10. Okay, after that, it has to get a little bit more and more past the 8. We know that at 8.30, it would be right in between the, the um, 8 and 9, right? So we're, we're about almost there. So think about that as you're doing your work, okay? So... I hope you have fun with telling time today. Lots of practice at home with telling time.